Applejack? Applejack? Was your brother scaring you again? Come on, Philly. I'm here. Hush now, little Philly. You're loved by all you know. You'll never lose their friendship no matter where you go. Ain't no call to worry, so don't you fret or cry. Your mom is here to help you, and heaven knows she'll try. Come on, silly filly. I think the supper's ready. You okay? Yeah, just missing home. Me too. There are so many important ponies out there that I'm so terrified for. I, I know you feel that way too. Every pony does. It's nice to know that the ponies here are safe. But I feel like because I get to see them and you again, that I'm, I'm not allowed to feel bad about not having any pony else. Is that weird? Not at all. I I actually think I know what you mean. Like, you're so grateful for what you have and, like, protective of it that you're scared that if you don't appreciate it enough and if you focus on anything else, that it'll go away. Yeah, exactly like that. Something I do to feel better is to write letters to friends and family that I miss, even if I don't know if they'll ever get to read it. I was writing one to you and Sweetie when Maud came in with you when you got here. Writing down my thoughts always helps me a lot. I'm really glad that Maud and the Pa family are here. I consider them family. I know what you mean. That's how I feel about Bo and Wendy. Rainbow Dash is mom and dad? Yeah. Yeah. Would you help me write a letter to Sweetie Belle? Of course. Of, of course. How do you, how do you want to start? Dear Sweetie Belle, it's been, uh, how long has it been since I arrived? It's been 51 days since the outbreak, and you, um, so if you were picked up a week ago, you were there for six weeks and two days. Was it really six weeks? I think so. Right. Anyways, I've been living in a tent on the runway of Wonderbolt's HQ with Scootaloo and her parents. They have the buildings where the Wonderbolt bunks are, the locker rooms, the classroom buildings that are now being used for various things. I am lots of tents along the runway, so uh, the ponies here can actually have some privacy. Every pony volunteers to do something to help when they're ready. There are ponies planting crops, which I think I might be able to help out with, or maybe I could help Sakura with her first aid potions. We eat in one of the classroom buildings. It's become a makeshift cafeteria, and uh, Rumble has been helping out with the cooking, and he makes everything with love. Maybe he'll get his cutie mark in being an awesome chef. I heard Thunder Lane passed away. Rumble's been wearing his Wonderbolt bomber jacket. I know Rainbow Dash won't mind that I've been wearing hers. Most of the ponies here volunteer to go back into the world to scavenge or join search and rescue. But there are others who work with first aid or building tents and small buildings. There's something for every pony. I believe there's a team of doctors trying to learn about the virus. Oh, I, I talked about that in my last letter. Nurse Redheart from Ponyville General Hospital is working really hard to figure stuff out. My mom and dad with their skill set working with dangerous creatures have been helping too. Did you want to write about the memorial? The memorial? It's where every pony writes the name of some pony that they know didn't make it. It's like a way to pay respect for them. We don't have space for individual graves or bodies to 
very so I um I think I have to go be by myself for a moment. Um I just need a minute. That's okay. That's okay. I'll, I'll come check on you in a bit. Apple Bloom, are you all right? Yeah. Are you? Do you do you want to talk about? I I came in here to breathe for a moment since I'm still getting used to the place and all. And seeing the memorial was hard, but as soon as I was alone, I was back in the clubhouse, and it's fine. Did you need something? N no, I I just wanted to check on you. All right. I, a Apple Bloom. I know you told Maud about what happened and and told her who didn't make it so she could add to the list of the dead, but you don't. You don't have to tell me, but Granny and Big Mac are dead. <laughs> Apple Bloom, hey, 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 it's it's okay. Oh, oh, Apple Bloom, I'm so sorry. You don't have to talk if it's too much right now. I, I know how hard it is to think about it. Apple Jagger has to be dead too. If she were alive, she would have come to save me. She's always come to save me. What if Big Man got to her too? I thought you were dead. I thought, I thought you were dead. And I thought Sweetie Belle was too. And if, she, if she's not higher than she could be as well. I, I thought I'd never see you again. Sweet, Sweetie Belle's not dead. I can feel it. We'll see her again and we'll give her our letter. How do you know that? <laughs> Shh, sh it's okay. It's okay. I, I'm. I'm. S it's not you. It's not you. You don't understand how much I dreamed of this. Of seeing some pony that I love again. It felt like so much longer than six weeks. I know. I know. I was only hiding by myself for two days, but. And it felt like an eternity. I can't imagine how messed up you must feel, but but I'm here and I'll always be here and I'll always be here if you need to talk or, or cry or, or anything. Is it okay if I just cry? Of course it is. They're okay, Apple Bloom. I know they are. Sweetie and Applejack will be fine. You'll see your sister again. I know it. Oh, Shelly, Shelly, you love pie, oh, you know. I'll never lose that shit, it doesn't matter where I go. In my car, well, I still don't fret or cry. Your friend is here to guide you, because you won't see a try.